Hi everyone, welcome to the seventh session of the Art Lounge Talks. Um, I'm very excited to welcome you today because we have a very, very interesting and unique guest on board, basically, who does something that not many of us have heard of before. Uh, a lot of you guys may already know about him. Um, he is uh, what he calls a, a mystery performer. Um, but what exactly that entails is something that I think we all are very excited to find out. Uh, and um, I think we'll hear from him about what he does, how he learned what he does, and uh, where we can see him perform. So uh, I would like to invite Shahir Khan to join us today. And I will just look for him over here, and then we'll talk to him about what he does. Okay. So here, if you can see me, you can send me a request. Instagram is being a bit strange right now. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. I can see this, but somehow I can't tap the thing to add him. No sound. Okay, can you guys hear me? I think if you guys can't, then I'm going to restart the session because I can't seem to press any buttons right now on the screen. Oh, you guys can hear me? Someone's saying yes. Hi, Shahir. I'm just trying to add you to this. Shahir, I've added you to this, so let me know. Hi, how are you? Hello. Sorry about that. I'm good, I'm good. How are you, Shahir? I'm good, I'm good. Where are you Where are you sitting? It looks like a very cool place. This is my room. This is where I am mostly. Um, oh my god, it's, it's super cool. Whoa. <laughs> looks like a mini museum of like popular culture. <laughs> it is it is a mini museum i'm into this stuff um oh, okay yeah 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 we we love to talk about that okay so before we start uh, this i would just like to introduce you and i'm going to read out a little bit of your bio and then we'll move on to the questions how does that sound sounds good yeah? sounds good Okay, so for everyone who's watching, Shahir Khan is a mentalist and mystery performer based in Karachi, Pakistan, who is known for his spectacular mind reading and telepathy skills. He has performed at numerous live events, including his own live show called The Other Side and hosted a YouTube show called Mind It on Channel 23 in 2020. The likes of Pakistan's books, Basim Akram, Mahira Khan, Ramiz Raja, Maulana Tariq Jamil, um, India's Harsha Bhogle, magician Karan Singh, and Turkish actors from Ertugrul have been awed by his gifts firsthand. Um, so after two years at Indus Valley School of Art and Architecture, Shahir decided to pursue his passion as a mystery performer full time. Um, he teaches Tikabu Telepathy, which is a branch of telepathy unique to him. Um, and has recorded episodes of a new television show that will be on screens very soon, which I'm really looking forward to. So let's ask him more about his journey thus far. Uh, okay, so Shahir, can you yeah. tell us a little bit about your earliest uh, memory of practicing mind reading and you know how you realized you had these abilities in the first place? So in order for me to tell you how it was, we need to take a step back. And uh, so when I was uh, when I was a young kid, you no know, one knows about. Me, but um, I, I come from a fairly religious family, and okay. my my grandfather always wanted me to be um, a half is a Quran. So um, he always used to call me half is Shahir, half is Shahir when I was three, four years old. And when mm -hmm. he passed away around when I was eight. Um, my father asked me if I wanted to make his wish come true, and I said yes. Mm. When I was four, my parents mm. took me um, from school, and I was put in a madrasa for like around five years. Okay. So, um, yeah. In my environment, 
very different from the school environment and i would yeah. go the day and i would come back at night and uh, it was at that point there was there used to be um a toy seller who used to come there on every friday mm. so the mother's environment was really harsh and what i would do is i would save my money throughout the week so i could buy little magic tricks um from this toy seller from the person okay yeah because he he would sell like gags and jokes and stuff like that like story books um and yeah. occasionally occasionally he would have like you know a trick or two to sell so i started um, learning from him and then i started performing in my madrasa only for the other kids who couldn't afford the trick okay yeah okay so, um it was at that time my uh, my performance began um i started feeling hmm. special around the madrasa everybody every kid was like you know uske paas jadoo hai jadoo kar sakta hai and uh, <laughs> stuff like that and then um and then in my i think in my second year i think he rather than showing me any kind of tricks one day he just told yeah. me that toy seller he told you he what he, he told, told you what me, he told me what i was thinking of what really he read my mind yeah and oh wow uh, okay and it was very direct it was like very uh, you know like very mysterious or like you know with a lot of presentation or anything he was just like this is what you have been thinking of you know in your life currently and i was like oh my god yes ye kaise kiya tumne wow yeah so then um he told me at at that point in time i was a little kid i did not understand what into was i did not know but um he told me that i was fairly intuitive that i was a very intuitive kid and this is something that i could also practice but mm-hmm. um even he did not have it all figured out as to like what this um, how did how it worked i mean he could do it he could sense things but um, he was very intuitive about it it wasn't something that he did openly and he just did it for me once and uh, mm. he gave me this little book in urdu which i i wish i had kept i lost it it was a, like very like you know 10 15 pages urdu mein book aap the usme like you know there was something about something known as a candle stare in order to you know develop telepathic abilities and that's where i started and yeah i said i really quick really good thing that could be developed over time if you're fairly into it so i started yeah. doing yeah. this there yeah. i started doing this there and then by the time i was done memorizing quran i also had you know figured out the telepathy to some extent i wasn't perfect at it but i could immediately sense things about people so I, okay as yeah. i could my people they were i'm guessing specific things but i could tell without you saying a, a word that you had a bad day and this is what's bothering you mm okay okay that's that was sort of a long really, really short cool. question but yeah No, no, perfect. Uh, it it can be whatever is coming to you. You just yeah, go with that. Uh, it's perfect. Okay, so you seem to have an inclination towards following your heart and not settling for something that you don't feel strongly about. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us more about this? Yeah. Well, I've always um, been very stubborn. I'm like the stubborn one in mm-hmm. family as well, and. and If I like something, I go all out for it, and I have very weird mm. ability. Which not, I wouldn't say ability. It's a, it's a curse as well. If I don't like something, <laughs> I can go to the extent of deleting it from my life to the point where I might not. Even... Wow! Oh my God! Yeah. So it's intense. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. If I, yeah. If I don't like something happened to me, with me, or around me, I can simply forget about it as if it never happened. so it's wow. almost become very into it um i just have to add here for everybody who's watching if you guys have any questions you can put them in this little uh box with the question mark so you can add your questions there rather than putting them in the comments because in the comments they'll kind of disappear in the end so yeah. that's very cool um okay so the reason uh, another reason why i've been really excited about this interview is because in my family 
I have a history of people who have been interested in similar areas. So my grandfather, his name was Sajid Ali Sabzwari, uh, and my father, Khusra Sabzwari, they have been involved in this thing called extrasensory perception, uh, where they can also do mind reading, also palm reading, they can read another person's thoughts, and yeah. they're, they've been known for that. So, you know, I have these books lying around at home that I read, and I'm really intrigued by them. So I remember, like, once I found out that you do this kind of stuff, I've been watching your videos, and I really wanted to talk to you about it. Yeah. Um, so do you think, though, in your opinion, that having this ability is something that's God-gifted, or does one... Can one hone it? Can one practice it? Um, so, you know? when, when, whenever I perform for people, uh, there's always people in the audience who say that, oh, you know, you gift and you have God's gift and you've been blessed to offer. Um, yes, it is God's gift, but it is just, I mean, it looks amazing and it is amazing, but this ability is the same as the ability to write a word with your left hand or you know watch a movie with your eyes or think with your brain it is just like that in the ancient times right. in the ancient times there were civilizations that did not have you know a verbal language they would communicate telepathically this uh, yeah. this ability has been lost over time and it's all like you know people as time goes by people are becoming you know slower and slower at communicating with each other and we're losing that yeah. as technology comes in. So we're we're getting better at communication but sort of like a through a medium now. But the technology of the past was much more efficient because it was already here. You know? Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you stated I read in one of your interviews that you said this. I have two core abilities predicting human behavior and reading people's minds. Uh, mm. I tell people what they think and how they think, and I'm an expert in reading people's body language. Uh, yeah. So can you tell us exactly what you can see, feel, or visualize when you're reading another person's mind or aura, and yeah. how do you read their body language? Okay, so when it comes to read someone, I think it's 90... Eight percent, ninety-eight percent about what I'm feeling. Like I've stopped judging okay. people on how they're looking on that day, just because you think someone is not dressed that well or tired does not mean that mm. you know they don't take care of themselves. You know, maybe they're just having a yeah. bad So you can't really rely on body language, but at the same time, you can't also ignore it. Right. Yeah. If someone, yeah. If someone has a bandage on their hand, obviously there are someone who makes use of their hand instead of someone who is mm. very careful about everything. So that does oh. count. But um, I have uh, a very basic uh, technique, which is the peekaboo technique that I apply and I also teach. Yeah. And that yeah. is all about uh, making connection with the person that you're trying to connect with. It does not matter if the person is in front of you or far away, they could be on the other side of the world. As long as you can connect mm -hmm. to a visual of what they look like or how they are, obviously this connection would be uh, more difficult to make, but it's absolutely possible. Yeah. But that's, that's, the, mm -hmm. that's the thing. It's a very... Uh, Shaheed, uh, some people are saying that your voice is lagging a bit. Like, it, it dis from what I can hear, it disappears in the middle for like one or two seconds. So, okay. is there any... Um, Something I can do? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can connect to my Wi-Fi. I don't know if my Wi-Fi is going to Okay, okay. Uh, okay, let's do that and see. And if that won't work, we'll just go back to this. Let's see. Let's hope that that works. Meanwhile, I'll check out the questions. Okay, so there's no Wi-Fi yeah. and I'm stuck with 4G. All right, fine, fine. We'll we'll make do with but, this. So everyone just fill in the blanks. You can see. You, you can do some lip reading, huh? If you don't understand something, I can repeat myself. It's fine. Okay, fine. Cool, cool. Yeah. So people can mention if they can. Acha, uh, so were you saying some? Uh, were you adding more to it, or should I go on to the? You can go on. You can go on. Okay. Uh, achha, 
are people ever skeptical about what you do uh and what would you say to them um that's one question and there's another question within this question ke okay. can you tell us about some memorable interactions with people who were odd and some not so great ones yeah so people are always skeptical because we as uh, human beings problem solvers so as soon as you present anyone with a puzzle something that they cannot explain they will jump to the most convenient conclusion and the most mm. con- conclusion is um, that there is something set up between you and the audience member the audience member is an actor yeah. or they're, they're your friend or they travel with you and they work with you and you're not really picking a real audience member you're picking someone who's just cahoots with you so the best yeah. way to get rid of that the best way to get rid of that is to read as many people as you can during a show so when i start right. there are lots of doubt in the audience obviously if i was to see someone like that for the first time i would be you know skeptical and it's healthy to be skeptical uh, hmm. but by the time i'm done i read a good 70% of my audience usually in one capacity of the okay. other okay so it's very so even let's say you were skeptical if you are at my show you're skeptical and you're there with your friend i might have read your yeah. friend so the moment i read your friend's mind that's when you know that so the larger the group is the easier it is for them right yeah yeah and there's an there's the okay. o- there's the occasional audience member who is there all by himself and he thinks mm. every an actor and only one <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah there's skeptics everywhere um okay do you have any heroes or role models in this field that you follow i don't have any heroes or role models but um i do at times i know there's something to be proud of but i look at very i look at very successful people like crazy stupid success like for example like uh, you know mohammed ali the boxer or for example like michael jackson or you know like okay like big leaders of the world and i genuinely get jealous from them you know you know like really? how a person would look at them and just say oh how uski to bahut baat hai you know like but i get jealous of the fact that i can also do that you know and i get angry at myself mm. so, <laughs> That's a good thing you're competitive then in a way in, in terms of achievement I'm competitive yeah, with those people who are just you know like who are just beyond reach you know? Yeah 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 that's a good thing Okay so can you tell us about an average day in your life what do you do when you wake up when you sleep what do you do in the middle etc etc So these days I have really off times these usually up all night and it all depends on my <laughs> um schedule on a you see like right now i'm in the process of i'm in the process of doing a lot of things at once i have to get uh, my new tv show released in time um the trailer is yeah. going to drop on the 3rd of march which is right around the corner oh that's amazing and the amazing. show is going to release after ramzan because there's some connotation okay. with what i do if it's very like non islamic So they're like we're not going to come on we're going to release it on Friday. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm um and then currently I'm writing a 10 minute piece for a show that I'm doing on the 22nd of March. Um Okay, live show. It's a live show but it's a 10 minute set that I'm doing for a brand launch and there's going to be lots of celebrities there like Fawad Khan some who I want to play the dance with. and what i'm planning is what i'm planning in order to market myself i'm planning on calling as many celebrities on stage so i can be <laughs> photographed with them and i could share them that's great and read their minds yeah you've already done such big names you know so i'm sure they they're excited to probably experience this with you which uh, 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 can you mention the channel or so it's no? not not yet that is for a brand It's for a brand. Okay. The TV show is for a brand. No, no, no. The TV show is uh, TV show. Okay. Yeah, the TV show is an independent production. It's produced by Humayun Said by Six Humayun's company. Yeah. 
and the channel is called green it's a new channel that's coming out okay yeah, yeah. so they have bought my and they're going to be my i chose for a brand launch the one that i'm doing on the 27th take care great um so like as we were saying you you've worked with a lot of celebrities so how has it been to work with pakistan's greats like Mulana Tariq Jameel and Wasim Akram, Mahira yeah. Khan. Uh, how were they, and was it ever intimidating for you, considering their celebrities, uh, when you were so, going to read their mind? So I, I remember, I remember um, at a very age, I remember uh, performing for people, and hands would shake, and sometimes shake. Um, I do get nervous, but. Yeah. I I feel the more it's very strange, but I feel the most comfortable when I'm on stage. Yeah. When I'm on stage. Okay. So in front of like, if I'm in front of a thousand people, but if you if you put me one on one next to each other, you know, on a couch, and you say, okay, now do something, I'll be very like, you know, I'll I'll be. You know, I get that. Yeah. I get exactly what you're saying because, for example, in terms of singing and other things, I always imagine that if there were like a thousand people in front of me and I was on stage, I would be less intimidated. But if there's a little room and people are like, "Oh, perform now," I get really conscious and I'm like, "No, I don't want to see people's reactions," you know. So yeah. I totally get that. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, you know, you're talking about uh, your your show and working with the brand, etc., etc. What does social media mean to you? With regards to your career and in general, and how important is it to maintain a presence on social media for you, for example? I think I am uh, really bad at doing the whole social media. Um, if you mm -hmm. go to my Instagram, you'll see a lot of pictures of me. Um, I like posting my face a lot on my Instagram, but <laughs> I'm I'm really bad at keeping up with the whole Instagram game. Of you know today I'm mm -hmm. doing this you know even though it's very important in today's day and age but I'm I'm not the best at it and uh, right okay yeah but but, but has it helped you in your career uh, in the sense that you know getting that connection with people and then uh, you know publicity and getting that intro to people yeah. who may not see you otherwise absolutely absolutely I think the biggest uh, the biggest Opportunities that I've gotten in my life have been through social media only because someone has seen some clip or some some guy has quoted some director in my clip and then the director has said, okay, you know, like let's do this. So yeah, yeah because my work is yeah. out there. it's not really really out there, but it is out there. Mm. So if someone yeah. gets curious about if someone is practicing something as you know, obscure as telepathy in Pakistan. They're making my face. If they look for it, they'll find me. But I'm not like yeah. I'm not like a like a Coke Studio song which is going to play right before a YouTube video without even telling you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I love uh, right. So okay, so Shahid, you are a huge Batman fan. You know because of your Instagram stories, etc. And you've built your own bat movie. Oh my god! There is there you go. <laughs> Just there, your room is so cool, man. I mean, it's really okay. really cool. Um, actually, you've also built your own bat mobile, and you have a huge collection of merchandise and paraphernalia of superheroes and fantasy fantasy fiction that you yeah. like. Um, can you tell us more about this passion and how long it's taken you to collect all of this, etc.? So, um. When I was a little kid, I always wanted uh, lots of toys, and uh, I wasn't. I was allowed to have, you know, like a toy on my birthday. Occasionally, when my father would travel for business, bring a Batman figure or a Batmobile and stuff like that. Yeah. But so, my appetite as a kid was very big. The toys, but they were not complete. So, um. I think what hap what has happened is that the appetite up puri ho gayi. Right. But the bachpan ki jo wo thi na ek because obviously imagine but you cannot exactly tell and nobody listens to a kid who wants a room full of toys. Kisi baat ka time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Now is I listen to my own voice 
And yeah, yeah. And I, you know, collect all of these things. I'll show you something which I'm proud of. Something which yeah, is. Yeah, these things. Um. So, have you? Did you watch the new Batman film that came out? Yes, I did. Did you fall asleep? <laughs> Look, I'm not a huge Batman fan. I'll be honest. That was the first okay, proper Batman uh, film I saw. Uh, I heard and I I felt like team. okay no I felt I felt it could have been an hour shorter but that's yeah. me I mean I I guess I can't really say much because I'm not a huge Batman fan but it was good it wasn't amazing but it was good so sorry in advance if you loved it <laughs> it's okay it's okay I'm trying very hard I'm trying very hard not to judge you but okay it's okay okay so so what I did was, I think the the ship has sailed right now yeah so what I what I did was before the movie came out. I knew it was going to be mm. really good, and for me, it was a brilliant film, very accurate comic yeah. related film. Uh-huh. So what I did okay. was, yeah. I got Robert Pattinson to come to my room and be a part of, uh, <laughs> you know, my collection. Oh my god, dude, that is so, so cool! So that's a that's a that's life size Robert Pattinson. Whoa, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, and dude, your got, room could be a museum. Like I, I was saying this to you before as well. Your room could easily be like a museum. This is insane. Yeah, and you can wow. you know, like look at it. Yeah, that's him right there. Yeah. Did you feel like he was? Is he? Is he your favorite Batman so far? So I'll tell you what. This is this is like steering us a little off topic, but I'll tell you why he's uh, why. He's yeah, good. I'll I'll. I'll tell you why yeah. he's good. he's good because mm-hmm. he. What Batman was when he was fighting the Guinea, so the young Batman. People when they see Robert Pattinson, they're like, "Oh, you know, it's not you know, like he's so thin and he's so lean. That that's not Batman." But if you read the comics in uh, in Batman's second, that comic book illustration of Batman in year yeah. one. Yeah. Year. Uh, yeah. And yeah. this movie picks up on. And you felt his personality was just the way Batman's personality is. Yeah, supposed yeah. to be absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And, and the reason why the movie is so slow, I'll tell you that because it's a detective movie. It's like it's supposed to be slow and it builds upon itself. And it's okay. I fell asleep. It's okay. I didn't fall asleep at all. <laughs> I was watching the whole. Th- Actually, I'll tell you why. Now again, I know this is off topic. This has to do with me as a person. Whenever I watch a film, I just want to have some comic relief. You know, I, I want to feel kind of like positive after watching it. So I didn't know what to expect. I love like Spider-Man movies because you know there's comedy. I know you're judging me majorly, but uh, no. those are the kind of films I. Th- <laughs> Let's just not continue this conversation right now, okay? <laughs> so, which qualities do you have that make you successful? Which qualities do I have that make me successful? Um, yeah, this is a question where people have to appreciate themselves a little bit, which is totally fine. Everyone deserves that. So, what do you think? The, which qualities do you have that bring you this success? I think uh, I am very hardworking, but not your typical hardworking fashion. So, okay. I'm, so if you like, if you go to my parents or if you come to my family and you say, "Your son is very hardworking." Hai, It will be like that's not okay. And with what he's doing, so um, but all the work that I'm doing is in my head here. I think a lot. Mm-hmm. New concepts, new ways of reading people, and just interesting. So in that in that way, I'm very but but physically, I'm not doing much labor. You know, I'm a chiller. I chill around. Like a slot yeah. around, and uh, okay. and one more thing, I think I have to manifest whatever I want. So wow, okay, I would, I want to hear more about this. No, so I, I someone I, saying your voice is not clear. He just said he he manifests whatever he wants. I want to know about this. That's amazing. Shanzi, can you hear me though? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, so. Because then, if you can hear me, I think then it's like the problem is on there. And if you're, yeah, probably. See, I can hear you, but what happens is, a a card word, वो हो जाता है. But I can tell overall what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So please tell me about this manifestation thing. Yeah. Okay. I, 
give you i'll give you a little i'll give you two little examples um yeah i i was in uh, i was in a level and uh, there was this there was this magazine and it had the, it had a picture of a red car uh like top down you know very cute red small car i'm not into cars at all so i do not know what that car was called but i i was like you know i want a car like that and one okay. day i ripped up that magazine just that picture and i just put it in my bag Hmm. and my heart i believe car is mine and wow okay i thought i not want to tell anyone i did not and my dad's friend he wanted to sell a car and uh uh-huh. different city and for some reason he sent his dad open to our place just to park okay and my dad said oh ye gaadi mujhe chahiye kya mujhe de de so i had not tell anyone ki mujhe gaadi chahiye but one week later there was a red car with a top down and everything standing in our no. car and i was like holy shit you know i just i just thought about it and you know but that is insane that's amazing and then uske alawa i since i was in school i always wanted to be in the light right? like it was always my like i never spoke about it growing up but it was always mm. a dream in my head that went over again that i'm standing on stage with the spotlight on me there's lots of people and i'm doing something that's very interesting i don't know what i was doing that's cool and that's now, so cool reality and the biggest the biggest one i think has to be the batmobile yeah dude How, yeah. did you build it or did you buy it what, what, what happened I'll tell you. This is the first time I tell the story publicly, even though it's like thirty people over okay. here. But I think it's excited. So what happened was, as you know, I collect these things. You can see like the Jurassic Park Jeep or Park Rover thing. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a dinosaur too. But anyway. Yeah. 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 So that's so cool. So I I follow a lot of these collector pages online, and they, and people post pictures of their toys and their statues online. So there's this one collector who does really good photography, and I really appreciated his, you know, like his angles and everything. And there were pictures of like all his figures, Batman figures. I went to them, and then there were there was a picture of his garage, and in his garage was a Batmobile. Okay. But it was it was the 1989 Batmobile, so like I don't know if I. Can do. But it was. Can you see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was this bad movie, okay? Okay, okay. So, but this was like fully parked in his garage. Like holy, like, how? Where do you get bad movie? So I started reading some comments, and just as I was about to type, okay, where did you get it from? He had mentioned that oh, I took my little model, which is exactly this model. I photoshopped it and I just built it. Built it? No, 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 no. I photoshopped it. I photoshopped it. Yeah. So he photoshopped that bad movie and he placed it in the garage in the picture. So he just paused. Okay. Okay. Uh, some people are suggesting. Uh, do you have earphones by any chance? Do you Or want you? me to do you want me to rejoin the call? Maybe that would work. I can uh okay okay let's do that let's do that rejoin it um uh, otherwise people are saying earphones agar hai log keh rahe hain comments mein okay is, is my video okay though but then i'll get earphones video is perfect video is absolutely okay, okay. I, I, and your voice is audible but thoda sa wo hota hai earphones wait okay my god just look at that room it's so cool what can you guys spot just a reminder guys if you have any questions add them to the question box which is that question mark with the speech bubble and in the end we'll take them we have quite a few right now wow that's amazing very interesting questions okay yeah people are saying with video is good Okay, hold on. And I see it says Enigma Portal at the back. After this question, you can also tell us a little about that. Yeah, that's why it's there. 
Ja, okay. Und Okay. Okay. Uh, Can you hear me? Yes, it's it's clear so far. Great. Hopefully this will work. Okay. Perfect. I hope. Uh, so Shahid, yeah. you were Because saying that the guy photoshopped it. Yeah. Okay. Everybody can mention in the comments that it's better or any. Yeah. But anyway. So, um, Hmm. Zainab, can you ask that question in the box? Because I'm going to ask those questions in the end. Okay. Yes, Shahir, you were talking about the thing. Yeah, so the guy, the guy. Uh... <laughs> the okay, I wanted to do it first. Now I feel really bad that the whole July was gone. It was just like that. People didn't hear my voice. No, no, no. The most of the voice was coming. It was just in the blanks. Hmm. It was just a little extra exercise. And they should be yeah. exercising their mental faculties. Anyway, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that guy had uh, that guy had photoshopped his bad mobile into you know a picture, and then I was like, hmm. you know what? If I if I because I also have this bad mobile, so I was like, if I do this, it's going to be the same. So let me do the other one, the Christian Bale one from the Dark Knight. Wait a second, you're saying that guy photoshopped his bad mobile into a picture. What does that mean? So you see this model over here? Yeah. uh now you can see it right this car yeah yeah you can see it yeah this is a small car it's a small scale model it's a 1/6 scale model of that car right yeah 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 it's a small so model usne kya yeah. kiya usne iski tasveerein khinchi aur photoshop karke bada bana is gaadi ko aur usko apne garage mein okay oh, okay fine theek hai theek hai to he built one na he built a real life size one no 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 no, no. उसने एक खिलौने की तस्वीरें लेके उसको फोटोशॉप में इनलार्ज किया ओके सो ही डिडंट एक्चुअली हैव इट या या ही फेक्ड इट ही फेक्ड इट ही डिडंट एक्चुअली हैव इट ओके फाइन आई गेट इट नाउ ओके कूल कूल सही है परफेक्ट सो दैट्स दैट्स व्हाट ही डिड ओके सो देन आई वाज लाइक मेरे पास भी ये वाला मॉडल है मैं भी ये करता हूं बट देन आई वाज लाइक वो तो सेम हो जाएगा फिर हां सो मैंने आई मीन दैट मॉडल इज देयर बट मैंने मेरी जो बैट मोबाइल वाला जो है क्रिश्चियन बेल वन इट्स कॉल्ड द टबलर दैट्स अ बिगर बैट मोबाइल मेरे पास उसका मॉडल है तो मैंने उसकी तस्वीरें खींच के उसको फोटोशॉप करके बड़ा करके मैंने अपने गैराज में पार्क कर दिया ओके एंड देन व्हाट हैपेंड वाज आई पोस्टेड इट ऑन माय इंस्टाग्राम जस्ट फॉर लाइक्स एंड एंड आई आई कैप्शनड इट आई लव माय टॉयज because i assume oh, okay okay i assume people would look at it and say oh that's really cool man you photoshopped your toy to look like a bad movie but yeah. instead instead what happened was people started saying oh my god you know you got the bad movie in your house oh no blah blah blah, blah. how do you blah, blah blah so i started getting a lot of attention oh my god okay yes and, and i started yeah. drawing the attention yeah So I was like, you know what? I should take more pictures from different angles. Yeah. So I, so I did that. I photoshopped some more pictures and I uploaded them. That that got a lot more like you know attention. People started losing their minds. And then <laughs> one thing that I did not mention is that I was also um, big time into filmmaking. Mm hmm. So at, at that time I had a YouTube. I still have a YouTube channel, but I would make short films. um i wasn't performing on anything at that time so i was just i thought i would become a filmmaker when i grow up because mind reading did not pay the bills in my head at that time mm -hmm. so um so what happened was somebody commented saying that oh if it's really if you really have the bad mobile why don't you drive it <laughs> so okay. so then i took a green screen and i was really good at after effects and i faked the whole so thing. are you serious and uh, and then i made videos of like the bad mobile going back and forth starting up lights are opening closing and everybody fell for it oh and my then, god no way and then uske baad what happened was um then people started saying oh we want to come over to your house and <laughs> So then what okay, I so green screen the guy or photoshop kare and then I was like then I called some friends who I trusted and we took a picture with nothing in the background 
and then I photoshopped it and I put it there. I was like, these guys visited me and look at you, know, like look at all of this, and you know, and they're commenting underneath. They're like, oh my god, this is so cool, blah blah blah. And then उसके बाद वो बात इतनी बड़ी हो गई कि people, you know, like these magazine people started calling me. They were like, we want to interview you, blah blah blah, and so on and so forth. And I was like, okay, I think it's time to actually build the bad movie. So you did it, right? You actually did it, yeah. guys. People, people really are commenting true. saying, "I have trust issues." No, no need for trust issues because he actually he did it finally. Yeah. So <laughs> then I found uh, I found a very talented engineer in Lahore. I went to Lahore to meet him. Mm-hmm. I took my small uh, one six scale model. I gave it to him. It lived with him for one and a half year, and he wow. literally scale to scale, panel to panel, handcrafted. That bad mobile into an actual working bad mobile with the engine of a Land wow. Cruiser and everything. So it is real. It wow. Is real. So in a way, I manifested what I had imagined. You did. But yeah. it all started from Definitely. an Instagram post. <laughs> I think everybody encouraged you to also manifest it, right? Because they yeah. wanted it. They wanted you to have it so much that you were like, okay, you know what? Why don't I actually have it? And then it worked out. So everybody helped you get this in reality. But of course, that's a very cool story, man. Yeah. yeah so yeah, he yeah. didn't eventually lie, guys. It's all. The, it's it's actually there. It's very yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And then, after that, I think the biggest highlight with the Batmobile was that the Daily Mail, which is the UK's biggest newspaper. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I was on. I was on the cover. You can still Google it. If you type Batman What? Daily Mail, yeah, you can do it. No type, way! That is if, amazing. If you Google Daily Mail Batman fan, there's an article on me. In That's that. amazing. Everybody, yeah. please Google that. Yeah. Um, but also, I mean, uh, do you know? Are you therefore connected to other people in the world now who also have Batmobiles or made them or something? Are, are there people? No, this? I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, there's no like, there's no community. And at that time, um, there's this one. I think the one or two Batmobiles, like the one I have in Dubai. Hmm. And other than that, I haven't seen anyone's. The the rest of them are owned by Warner Brothers. So that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, do you drive it still in Karachi, or do you think I, it'll just get too much attention? No. So I'll tell you. Um, I don't drive it anymore. I don't remember the last time I drove it. Right now, it's parked in you know in my office, and it's not even mm-hmm. parked at my house because it's been खड़े खड़े like you know जंग लग में शुरू किया था so we went it for service and since then it's been parked there. But okay. uh, whenever I used to take it out, it it would cause accidents. Really? Ac- because people ac- are just so stunned. No. So basically, I'll I'll tell you how accidents were caused. Not like with the car, but just a bike. While yeah. he's trying to he's trying to see who's inside, and he went right right into a tree. Oh so, shit! Okay. So two people who are driving, <laughs> oh. you know, they're not looking. They're trying to see who's inside, or you know, what's going on. Phone bahar nikala, bhai khas ki video bana rahe. Oh, I was the guardian to grab me. So that stuff happened. So even when I did drive it around, I had like a guy on a bike in front of me, you know, someone behind me in a car, because there's lots of blind mm-hmm. spots in it. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, considerate. Yeah. So she, um, if you weren't a mystery performer, which career do you think you would have pursued? I really wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to go to the moon. I still do. Oh wow. Yeah, and uh, I hope <laughs> you can. I hope oh, the that, trips, you know, trips be over. Yeah. Yeah, I hope that in my life, um, you know, they open like flights to the moon or something like that. I'm probably might be really old, but that's something I want to do before you know I go on for the next ride. But uh, I'm yeah. sure you will manifest this as well. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. But yeah, that's what I want to do. And It'll I've happen. Been interested in film. Yeah. 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 People are suggesting Photoshop Kerala. Then <laughs> 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 eventually, yeah, they're using the same process. Okay. Movie. It'll happen. Okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you another <laughs> thing. I'll tell you another thing. Actually, I think I've beat I've beat people to that because I've also Photoshop that. If you go on my Instagram, and if you scroll down, you'll see pictures of me yeah. in, the, in the International Space Station. So, oh wow! And they are as legit so cool. as a picture could be. Like people swore that that I was in space. <laughs> It was a long time back. So, but uh, clearly, your photograph skills are also great. So, <laughs> I think having yeah, because, that is also 
a big thing. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, because you know, I was in IVS, so I learned my yeah. soft skills from over there. And if I like something, I really more, feel that was one of the best things I learned there too. It's so useful. Photoshop yeah, yeah. is so so useful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, Shahir, uh, what drives you to do this work that you do, and uh, where do you see this going in the future? Actually, before that, I also want to want to ask you, okay, uh, when you call yourself a mystery performer, uh, yeah, what does that mean exactly? And then let's move on to these questions. So, I don't call my like I don't loosely. I people say, oh, you you do magic or magician, or people say mentalist, but. Um, I think what I'm trying to do is uh, is not it's 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 something which is a brand of my own. Let's put it that way. It's a flavor of my own because even if right. you even if you're really obsessed, if someone out there is really obsessed with what I do, they can see the difference between when I perform or when someone else is doing something. Whatever it is, maybe a magician is performing a card trick or whatever. If a mentalist is reading yeah. someone's mind, if you really analyze yeah. and if you really see at the core of what I'm doing, it's slightly different. So okay. me calling myself okay. a mentalist would be injustice to the techniques that I'm using or what I'm doing okay. because because they're unique to me. So right. So so because, you're a mystery performer. So a mystery performer, um, and if you Google mystery performer, you'll only find me. That's also another thing. If you type the word oh, mentalist. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's like you know, that's the term that I used to describe me, and I, I, I don't know okay. any other performer who is using that term. If and ninety percent, ninety percent of the performers out there call themselves a mentalist. Even when you wrote in the caption mentalist, I told you, you know, just like you know, remove it. Yeah. Be- because yeah. Uh, you type mentalist, and then there's a long list, and there everybody's a mentalist yeah, you know, yeah. out there. There was also but that show called the Mentalist. Exactly, and then people have you know their. already the please existing ideas so instead mm. of like instead of like telling people sort of what to expect i like to keep it ambiguous and call myself a mystery performer so that when they feel it and they see it in person that's when it hits them oh shit this is something different this is not something that you know this is real okay you know that yeah. makes sense. um so uh what and again like what drives you to do this work and where do you see it going in the future I think I I just feel where I am in my life right now from my point of view I feel that there are very there there's very few mysteries in the world that I do not have the answer to and I think oh, wow. uh, I think life would be very very interesting the more mysteries there are around you the more exciting and interesting life becomes so the right, thing that yeah. the, the thing that drives me to do this is because i know what experiencing a mystery is like and when mm. i say when i say mystery it does not just mean that oh someone did a trick for me or someone you know like performs a piece that is special but a mystery could be anything a mystery could be a good movie um two people calling each other at the same time you know the perfect date mm. Mm. or you know meeting the right person or you know having that having found that lost object that you thought you could never find or even reaching inside your pocket and finding oh you paise gaya hai you know so yeah yeah that's true yeah so yeah. i think yeah. the more of that's that the more of that there is in your life i think that is what makes life meaningful and i yeah. feel i feel that i get a very big kick out of making others feel that and even though i might know the answer to the mystery that i'm performing for someone their reaction mm-hmm. and their feelings towards this mystery makes me feel it with them all over again so it's a lot of, of fun for me yeah yeah so it's like yeah. i have tried i have tried all these chocolates but i want to see I want to see Shanzu's face when she tries this, and then maybe yeah. I'll get to experience it for the first time through Shanzu again. You know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's it's me doing that. If you that feel like your work has touched someone else, it automatically makes you feel good. 
like you're doing yeah, something yeah. meaningful that, that yeah, yeah, yeah yeah absolutely so i get yeah. and i'm very lucky i feel i get to do this with so many people in the audience simultaneously at once you know um and it's always you know it's a very fun yeah. thing i feel i'm i feel i'm very blessed to be doing the work that i'm doing because uh, i'm getting paid to do what i love and it's not really what work, you love you know? isn't yeah. that the dream yeah, yeah. that's amazing yeah. Were, you, were you also someone jo bachpan se was interested in things like mysteries the bermuda triangle you know mysterious sightings whatever matter were you yeah. bachpan se inclined towards these things yeah oh area 51 <laughs> so i am like you know obviously i am like you know big into this stuff but yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. i think my mother my mother play, uh, played a really big role in this like you know the way i turned out um she yeah. introduced me she introduced me to this uh, film called the labyrinth um from mm-hmm. 19 oh, yeah. um 86 i believe 70 something right? oh 86 yeah, yeah like uh, david david boy was you know the goblin king in it um jennifer connelly was played sarah so it was like full of goblins and there was a maze and it was very magical and mystical so that's what i that's what i you know grew up watching i was obsessed with that film yeah and yeah. i always imagined myself as you know the goblin king and if you go <laughs> on my instagram you'll also find a picture of me as the goblin king which is also photoshop oh wow so, yeah so, yeah so um so uh, yeah yeah that's so, yeah it. Yeah so and other than that even before that uh, my mother grew up listening to uh, cassette kahanis um to yeah. cassette ke upar bahut sari kahaniyan hoti thi you know sharada salim and you know yeah. i don't even know what the girl's name was i think mehr banu or something Um, <laughs> okay but you said were those mis- mystery stories yeah just generally stories they were magical stories mostly about yeah, okay ke, you know teen bhai hain aur shahzad ne badshah ne teenon ko bheja ke jo jo hai pata nahi sabse acha tohfa leke aayega mm-hmm. usko ye prize milega to ek bhai ko wooden kaleen mila dusre ko jadoo ki seb mila teesre ko jadoo ki aaina mila jisme wo kisi ko bhi dekh sakta okay so acha तो वो उसमें होता ही है कि बादशाह जो बादशाह है वो तीन तीन ढूंढता है दोस्त या भाई होते हैं वो और उनको बोलता है कि जो सबसे अच्छा तोहफा लाएगा उससे मैं अपनी बेटी की शादी कराऊंगा विच इज रिडिक्यूलस बट बट वो होता ही है कि तीनों को एक एक तोहफा मिलता है बट एक भाई जादू आईने में देखता है कि शहजादी की तबीयत खराब है दूसरा no. भाई बोलता है हमें फौरन वहां पर पहुंचना चाहिए तो जादू कालीन का इस्तेमाल होता है और तीसरा भाई जो है वो सेब खिलाता है शादी उससे होती है जो सेब खिलाता है क्योंकि जो दूसरे दो हैं उनको रास्ते में कोई मिल गई होती है लड़कियां सो एवरीबॉडी एंड बट दीज आर द काइंड ऑफ स्टोरीज आई ग्रो अप ऑन एंड देन देर वॉज दिस एक एक कहानी थी उसका नाम था अहमद ने जब उड़ना सीखा अहमद की अहमद की स्कूल की छुट्टियां खत्म होती हैं तो उसको एक किताब मिलती है जिसके अंदर लिखा होता है कि साइंस ने जो है वो एक तरीका ढूंढ लिया उड़ने का और अहमद अपनी छत okay. पे जाता है अहमद अपनी छत पे जाता है एंड वो हवा में पैर रखता है और सडनली वो देखता है कि वो उड़ना शुरू हो गया हवा में और oh वो God, उड़ते, cool. और वो उड़ते उड़ते जो ना वो बादलों में पहुंच जाता है और वहां पे एक मछली होती है जिसके पैर होते हैं वहां पे एक देव सो रहा होता है एंड यू नो लाइक दिस होल फैंटेसी वर्ल्ड वेरी मैजिकल वर्ल्ड फैंटेसी एंड देन एट द एंड वन रियलाइजेस कि वो कहानी वो आर्टिकल पढ़ते पढ़ते सो गया था अपने बिस्तर में और जब वो उठता तो वो बिस्तर काइंड ऑफ लाइक एलिस इन वंडरलैंड या या काइंड काइंड ऑफ आर यू आल्सो अ हैरी पॉटर फैन बाय एनी चांस और नॉट मेबी I am I am a really big Harry Potter fan. Strangely, I don't have anything Harry Potter related over here. I do I do have Harry Potter ka wand. Wo mere paas hai. Wo main dikha dunga apna paraphernalia Harry Potter ka. That's my Harry that's oh, my I, 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 like, I like how you're Slytherin. I like that you're being true to your like I you're... am shocked that I was Slytherin but I am apparently. How how I thought I'd be Gryffindor or Ravenclaw. How did how huh? you figure it out? How did you figure it out? There's this website called Pottermore, and that's an authentic one. Just pay up your test, lay sakte hain. And this was the last one I thought I would be. I was like, oh hell no, I'm not evil. I don't have that side in me. And yeah. when this came, I thought we a jude tha kuch. I yeah. was in shock. Okay, I took this test overall five times because I just wasn't sure. <laughs> Three times, times I got Slytherin. <laughs> okay. 
three times i got slytherin twice i got ravenclaw and but you know what at the end i realized that i feel like i I feel like this could be me somewhere. I I just feel at home here. So jo bhi hai I've accepted it. <laughs> so, yeah. But what but what do you other than this test what do you feel in your heart which group do you belong to? Yeah that's a very tough question. I always have a problem because mujhe lagta hai har house ke kuch elements hain. Um I feel the part of me that Slytherin is the and someone said this actually and I did I didn't see it in myself at that point but they said mm-hmm. that my friend mentioned that she was talking to her auntie or something and that auntie mm-hmm. was like you know yeah shanti does have uh an ambitious element in her so that's her mm-hmm. slither inside and for some reason i feel connected to the if you ask me am i connected to do i feel more connected to the sun or the moon i'm going to say the moon and i'm going to think of the night more rather than the day so maybe yeah. okay maybe those elements and i i feel like i'm more of a, like a solo person you know like yeah mm, doing things on my own sort of a thing i really enjoy that i don't know if that is a part of this but uh, yeah but i'm but not evil house, but the house that you feel like you belong, i mean slytherin people are really cool wasn't a snape a part of yeah. slytherin he was right yeah he was is this ki yeah. people thought he was evil koi mujhe agar hufflepuff bol dena to mujhe bahut gussa aa jata hai which some of my friends do say so i was like i'm, I'm not that stupid. it's not a stupid house a good house but agar koi bol de to bahut again but it's a, i think a mix of everything probably so what is your so, house i think my house would be slytherin i mean look at me <laughs> i i think <laughs> i think i think i'm very dekhne se to pata nahi chalta as you said shouldn't judge people by their appearances but no i mean yeah it's it's probably a state of how you do things or how you think i think I, I For example, like sorry, a... I'm cutting you off. Gryffindors are very impulsive, right? Gryffindors can be imp- um, impulsive, and unko bas ek dum se they just wanna kuch hua to I'm gonna go and save the world. And I think students mm-hmm. are more calculated. So is that how you are? Definitely, and I I feel like the character that I relate to the most in Harry Potter is Snape. Oh, okay. Because he feels I don't know. There's this element of. mystery to him in the first you know films like what is this guy's deal you know because you know everybody yeah, what are, is it? you know harry potter yeah, is a good yeah. guy you know you know like slytherin people are like you know okay there's some evil going on but with snape mm. he was always looking out for harry you know yeah and and then he had this, <laughs> and then he had this story of you know like losing his love and it was very sad and yeah you know, I, I, very I, sad i just feel like yeah so i, I enjoy that kind of stuff So yeah, I I yeah, could yeah. I could I could relate the most you know to him. Okay. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, cool. Well, yeah. fellow fellow Slytherin always excited to meet them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Shahir, uh, let's move to the rapid fire. These are quick, short questions. Just okay. so you can okay. answer one word, one line, but you don't have to go into like if you want, you can. But okay. Acha. So who is your favorite actor or actress and movie? From the top of my head, I would say Blake Lively in The Age of Adeline. I think she was brilliant in that, and like that's that's the kind of woman I would approach. You know, when I when I see okay. that movie, that when I see that movie, that's what I think. You know, so mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, if you were on a de- desert island, name one person and two things you would like to take with you. I don't think I'd take anyone with me. I wouldn't put anyone through that mess of going to a deserted island. But I, I think you said two objects. Uh, two things you'd like to take with you. Okay, I think I would have a treasure map so I could find treasure over there, mm-hmm. and okay. then probably, cool. probably a satellite phone. So once I found the treasure, I could come back. <laughs> Smart. Very yeah. good answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One person. dead or alive you would like to take for dinner i do have an answer but it's a very um, controversial answer um okay. but i would That's i would fine. love i would love to have dinner with kid all fitler oh interesting yeah, if this was a longer you. question i would have asked you ke kyun kya can i show you something oh yeah yeah promise you won't judge me Promise, but you have judged me already on Batman, so it's not bad. I have, so I think yeah, you can judge me too. Okay. 
Oh my god, that's scary. Show you what the heck? <laughs> I thought you were going to show some Nardi sign or something. You have like no, the whole no, bags. No, no, no. Was it a life size thing? It was life size, and I can I I probably can get into trouble because you're going to post this live. So, but uh, yeah, well, but, yeah. too late for that. Oh my god! Whoa. Yeah. Okay, but just tell me this. Tell us this. It, or don't but hmm. do, do you think of him as a you don't have to hair actually let's leave it and maybe contra- i was going to say do you think of him in a positive light or negative but i think that's just not a necessary conversation so, right now no so i'll tell you that um, i obviously the guy is evil done a lot of bad things but i i just am fascinated by the power of the human mind when it comes yeah. to him because i'll tell you why um like i read his story and like from what i read i know that you know he tried to go to art school and they denied him and they said you you know yeah i was going to say kids. that can you imagine yeah so you know usko wahan se mana kar diya phir he tried to join the army aur phir usko bola that you don't have leadership skills so usko wahan se mana kar diya so acha so and then uske baad he became so angry at the world that slowly but surely there was a point in time where he was this close to conquering the entire world Whoa. so that that drive from point 0 to that point where he almost i mean he didn't get to but he almost got there i was like my god wow, yeah. so that's what one yeah. person can yeah. do so i how he was able that. to do that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. right next like, fair And, enough um yeah. I'm when just I, saying to everybody who's asking, this live will be saved and it's going to be uploaded on my Instagram and YouTube. So don't worry about it. Because people are saying that this live will save them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, Very I, cool. I find, yeah. I find the World War II period really fascinating. I think it was like an unreal point in time where, you know, like it just does not seem like it was a part of our history. You know, it was so strange. That time was so strange. If you hear about. the stories of soldiers and everything it was just a very weird time so i am a really big yeah. world war 2 fan and um, yeah 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 okay yeah cool by the way i just realized i'm strong but slytherin and that's my ring <laughs> wow so you carry a part you know usually <laughs> usually i would uh, so this this locket that i'm wearing before this i would always have yeah. like that harry potter you know like that symbol the deathly hallows yeah. yeah 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 i would i would i would used to wear that oh. but i recently oh, okay switched, recently switched to this okay okay yeah i don't know what that is but cool it's uh, it's a mushroom i'll tell you that much okay okay <laughs> yeah. all right okay so you one funny one funny or embarrassing situation you'd like to share with us if you wish one from the top of my head an embarrassing situation was when i was i think i was like 11 12 um i was at a shaadi and wahan pe bahar ek uh aadmi tha jo patake wali gun bech raha tha and i mm-hmm. bought that gun and my cousins they egged me on to go to this girl who was taller than me bigger than me older oh. than me and they said ki uske kaan ke andar uh you know like usko patake oh my god no and, and no, no. no 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 and then they were like tumhare tumhare mein the guts hi nahi hai so i was like okay you think i cannot do it i can do it so i went up to that oh, girl i don't know i don't know what she was doing but yeah. like i i put the gun right here behind her and i shot okay itni zor ka patake tha and uh, i feel really embarrassed of why i did that and they were all laughing but thank god you didn't do it in the ear shaheer thank yeah, god you had that sense not ear, in it it was it was near the ear yeah it was all about okay, it, was okay. about, it was not about shooting her but all about the sound ki uska sound kaan mein the sound anyway. okay 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 so us, because wo patak mein chalaya usse kaan ke kareeb and when she got up i realized oh shit she's wait all the time i was looking up at her like that <laughs> and she slapped me and when she slapped me oh, didn't, she didn't slap me with a hand she slapped me with her wrist like that so uski jo chudiyan thi wo sab uski jo chudiyan thi wo sab toot gaye mere muh pe lag ke and mere dusre haath mein na mere dusre haath mein faluda tha 
तो मुझे फालू दे था वो पूरा मेरे कपड़ों पे गई कर आई स्टार्ट क्राइंग एंड आई वेंट टू माय मॉम एंड शी वाज आस्किंग मी यू नो लाइक क्या हो गया एंड ऑल माय कजिंस वर मेकिंग फन ऑफ मी सो या दैट्स वन एम्बेरसिंग स्टोरी आई कैन थिंक ऑफ ओह गॉड बट यू एटलीस्ट डिड इट मतलब खैर आई डोंट नो इफ दैट्स गुड अ बैड बट यू डिड इट तो उनको बोलो के बट ओह माय गॉड इट रिमाइंड्स मी ऑफ माय ब्रदर वाज यंग ही यूज्ड टू या या यू वर सेइंग नहीं गॉन नो यू गॉन I was just saying this. I remembered Bachpan when Chare Wani guns were in vogue, and mm. it was very scary because my brother would just—he was a very hyper kid. He would yeah, just yeah. shoot. I mean, that was such a thing that I had to shoot you once. 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 By uh, a girl. <laughs> Lesson learned. Lesson <laughs> learned. Yeah. Yeah. Acha, yeah. what time of the day are you most creative? I think. I think I'm always. Uh, it depends on when I'm thinking about something. So usually, if I'm in bed with my eyes closed and I think I'm about to fall asleep, sometimes I, I get ideas then. Because when as I'm falling asleep. I'm on stage doing something, but I'm not doing something that's that I can explain. So I'll think of different okay. scenarios in my head of me watching someone or me watching myself, and I just try to see what is what is he doing. And he'll do something amazing, which I don't know how it's done, and then I'll try to figure mm-hmm. out how it could be done. So and then I'll get an idea, and then um, I'll always write it down. I have a little diary. I write down things in it. So it's always next to my bedside. So and if okay. I'm out of the house I'll write it down in my notes but uh, there is no yeah. special there's no specific point of the day where I'm most creative because I'm all I think I'm always creative you know okay. I'm always okay. yeah yeah okay. I'm always thinking That's great yeah yeah Is there any uh, advice you'd give your younger self I think the advice I would give to myself is start living already because there's been mm-hmm. a lot of points in my life where I have felt that I could have done this perhaps 5 years ago but not now. Now I can't do it. Okay. I'm, like I'm too old to do this now. You know? Really? Like um, like I can't think of anything on the spot but you know like how how for example if i say shanze let's sneak out and you say perhaps if i was in college i would do it but not now you know? yeah i get but yeah. what i've noticed is that 5 years later you're looking back at yourself and you're like i could have done it then but not now yeah exactly and, that's true and, that's yeah, true and, and you keep getting older and you keep looking back and you're like jab kar lega jab kar lega so now if i feel like doing something i just do it i don't care about that is what great anyone wants that is great yeah Yeah. Like I was sorry I I think right now I remember years ago I was like working at this radio station I was 19 at that time. Yeah. And I remember saying to people that oh my god my teens are about to end I'm so old right now. Yeah. And now I'm just like how stupid was I? I love old at 19 that's such a I mean I think that is something I would have told myself yeah. too that relax dude you know make mistakes do what do things don't be so worried about yeah, what people can... are going to think. You can still make mistakes. Just saying. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, yeah. that's true. Yeah. I yeah. think, uh, yeah, um, that that's a good lesson. Because a uh, ten uh, years later, I'm going to think, oh, I was so young then. I was wrong with me. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, and sh- I honestly, huh? yeah. no, I'm just saying. I no, honestly believe. I honestly believe that this whole idea of you know getting older is just our body is getting older. But I think in a certain way we always stay the same so i yeah. i meet i i I've, i've met people in my life who i'm sure that they're older than me the way they are conducting themselves very like you know like you know like firm and like almost like a hint of boredom attached to them so you can tell you know uh-huh. this, this guy this person is really old but then they feel yeah. that they're younger than me you know they're like 27 or 26 or whatever and then i'm like oh sh-, you know like then it it just mm. means that it's not about how it's old you mind. are it's, it's about yeah it's yeah. about how you are letting the experiences of the world drape around you 
Right, so, exactly. And I exactly. feel like I have let very, you know, like that drapery is there, but it's very less because I'm still a kid. Mm. You know, I'm still a kid. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. I love that side of me, and I like to keep it alive. Yeah. That's great. I think everyone should. People have literally said to me, "Tum kya abhi tak Harry Potter ke baare mein excited hoti?" I'm like, I don't care. I will till I die. Harry. Yeah. It's. I grew up with it. It's something that excites me. Bus. Yeah. Have Have Atam. you been to the Have you been to the Wizarding World in Orlando? I've been to the one. Yes, in Orlando, I have. Okay. And uh, I was very excited. The only thing was that it was hmm. summer. So you know, up there, when you go, you do imagine it being winter and snowfall, or yeah, yeah, yeah. it was summer. And I'm like, "Doop my die, gone, Ali, me, kya hua? Correct me, doop me." But it was a lot of fun. I, I fully cried there too because I was you, like emotional. Did you, did you have butter huh? beer? I did. Isn't I did. Best? Isn't it the best? <laughs> It's really good. It's really good, yeah. yeah. And उधर ही कुछ ऐसा हुआ था कि I was there and mm. I because. उधर लंदन का भी थोड़ा सा लेस्टर स्क्वायर का वो स्टेशन छोटा सा बना हुआ था एंड वो सब एंड व्हेन आई वाज देयर आई वाज लाइक ओह माय गॉड आई रियली रियली लाइक आई लव लंदन सो मच आई जस्ट विश कि मैं यू नो उधर होती एंड कुछ ऐसा हुआ कि थिंग्स वर्क्ड आउट इन अ वे व्हेयर आई गॉट लाइक दिस अचीविंग स्कॉलरशिप एंड लिटरली 2 मंथ्स लेटर आई वाज इन लंदन फॉर अ ईयर वाओ सो आई वाज लाइक ओह माय गॉड दिस लाइक मैनिफेस्टेड I guess so. Yeah, that was just the best, and I was like, I am living in my dream right now, you know. And उधर तो हर चीज़ Harry Potter मतलब King's Cross was yeah. right in the middle. It was right next to where I was living. I go there all every day. And I was like, this yeah. is where Harry Potter went to and, Hogwarts uh, they, from, you know. They they do also have a Harry Potter store over there. You know that. I went there. Yes, yeah, I yeah. did. King's Cross के अंदर है ना? Yeah, yeah. हाँ हाँ, I went there with a pure trolley wally hair, and you take a picture with it. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. do that though. But I went there once, so but was hot for she. We but the only thing was I really wanted to watch uh, the Cursed Child. Both theater me tha, but COVID okay. ho gaya. Can you imagine? Oh, okay. I spent like six, seven months, and COVID happened, and everything shut down. But it's yeah. okay. No regrets. <laughs> <laughs> um, acha. So Shahir, a mind reading or telepathy experience that you're most proud of? Hmm. most proud of i would say that i don't know there's just been there's so many different kinds of telepathic experiences experiences that i've had some mm-hmm. that i can think of but it's not even about it's not even about me performing something sometimes it's just conversational okay so so I can't tell you exactly but what I can tell you is that um the only thing I can think of is like the kind of thing where someone is too shy to say something and I've just guessed it. Oh wow, yeah. You know. So yeah. there have been there have that's been so those good. yeah, there have been those instances so it's like, you know, that's what I'm proud of. I think like that I can do mm. that. But then there have that also is been good. Yeah, and then there have also been instances where people are trying to hide things from me, and uh, then I figure things out. So I'm like, okay, this is this is something good. And um, but yeah, other than that, I wouldn't like say that you know I met this person, I read their mind. It's it's all mm-hmm. you know, it's all the very same to me. You know, like all the telepathy yeah. experiences with celebrities and stuff. They're all special in their own way. और अभी जो नया शो आ रहा है अभी जो नया शो आ रहा है उसमें भी यू नो लाइक देयर ऑल वेरी देयर ऑल वेरी यूनिक एक्सपीरियंसेस अम या सो आई वुडंट चूज आई वुडंट चूज वन ओवर द अदर यू नो देयर ऑल वेरी लाइक यूनिक एंड स्पेशल टू द पर्सन आई एम डीलिंग विद सो या या ओके दैट्स गुड अच्छा व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज द मोस्ट स्पेशल थिंग अबाउट पाकिस्तान the most special thing about pakistan hmm. yeah. i think the most special thing about pakistan is um, is the good people that live in it and there's a lot of good here and hmm. there's a lot of happiness here and um unfortunately usually the evil at least in the mainstream media the evil ways out yeah you yeah. know the nice things about a country 
but there's a lot of talented people over here there's a lot of people who love with an open heart a lot of people who care and uh, i think that's what's special that's about pakistan um other than that if you really see what pakistan really is is just a man made boundary and somebody gave it a name but yeah. so like i don't like i i could be very patriotic and say i love my country but i am the kind of person who would say i love planet earth i love my planet i don't love a specific chunk of ground you know okay. over That's any cool. other piece yeah, yeah. any other so, okay yeah but there's okay. there's good people um, here and i think that's what makes it special yeah okay um a dream of yours a dream of mine yeah like something you'd like to achieve well i have to go to the moon and i oh yes have, i have to beat michael jackson and muhammad ali at you know popular popular being or you know spreading the message of peace making people know that what life is all about and i'll tell touching you touching hearts touching hearts and like i think the one person that um that really is sort of crazy but i think it's okay to be crazy but someone who yes. thinks along those lines that i think of is kanye west so really yeah because um okay. he has this he has this idea of a world where everything is free and the whole world is open and you don't need a passport to go somewhere you don't have you know like boundaries in the world and people love each other for just the point of loving them and i mean it's a really big debate yeah. but i feel mm. like one day there's going to be a point in time if we don't kill ourselves there is going to be a point <laughs> in time where people will love each other not not because not because of what they're going to get in the afterlife but because it's the right thing to do oh that's amazing i hope so, so i really hope so you know yeah. so praying for so the world I, like that yeah, yeah so i yeah, just dream yeah. of a day I think that's my biggest dream to get to a point where I could do that um and even if I'm not able to do it at least I know in my heart that I would want to because there's there's so much that's wrong with the world and because the human mind is so vast but at the same time so tiny and so petty that unfortunately we still have not achieved the world peace you know yeah and yeah. Uh, yeah. i think if everybody could just love each other mm, yeah i i oh. think you know i would pray for it chabe bara ki raat hai dua mangte hain iske iske baad yeah it would be very cool <laughs> it would be very cool yeah. okay, so shahir uh, what makes you this is the final question in the rapid fire what makes you truly happy I think being myself you know like without any apologies just myself makes me really happy and that um that really upsets uh, a lot of people but I just love being myself and I love being true to myself and I hate mm. pretending to be the way people would expect me to be you know okay so, yeah yeah so yeah just, just you know being being like true to myself makes me really happy yeah oh, that's what i would say amazing yeah Very cool. yeah um so shahi would you like to move on to the questions that people have asked right now or yeah sure why not yeah yeah of course yeah, yeah, good yeah. all right yeah. cool so let me start from the bottom oh there is quite a few just pick the nice one um, <laughs> you can choose you can say yes or no ye yeah. acha ye to already maine answer kar diya anam rashid sheikh ka you've already answered the most embarrassing moment of your life hmm. we've said that then yeah. parkash isarani says uh, have you done any kind of course or is it natural i believe you've answered that right shahir yeah yeah i have yeah. and in the beginning big, yeah. you can yeah. you can watch this and he is answer okay mm-hmm. 
Hey, Yumna Anwar asks, Shaheer, what do you think about extraterrestrial entities? I believe that um, if we're the only ones in the entire cosmos, then I believe it would be an awful waste of space. So, yes. <laughs> so I believe it's out there. I believe right. it's out there. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Good, good answer. Okay. Um, so, Norm, Norm, Norm's Han says, I want to talk to him. I'm from Hong Kong. He's a genius. I want to learn mind reading. So, maybe you could quickly talk about the telepathy course that you offer. Yeah. So, I have, a, I have an online course called Teekaboo Telepathy. And you can, if you inbox me yeah. on my page, um, I can get back to you or, you know, like the representative will get back to you and, you know, they can send you all the details of the course. You can sign in. It's like watching YouTube videos. It's very easy to follow along with the videos and just um, learn from. So it's not like a live thing mm. where I step on and I teach you. Um, I am talking to the camera in the videos and you can just follow along. And it's very basic, very simple to learn um, and start learning telepathy. So, yeah. Mm. Okay, uh, great. Um, Akshay, sorry, Akshatayande. I'm so sorry, my pronunciation. Akshata Yende, I believe that is the word mm. name she's saying. Favorite magic tricks? Mm. Favorite magic trick? Uh, I think David Copperfield flew in his uh, in his theater show once. So I think that's my Whoa, favorite okay. magic trick. Yeah, yeah, he was flying all over that's the audience. Cool. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, Mar Marushistik asks, when is your show in Islamabad? So you'll see me perform in Islamabad. Um, usually I do a lot of corporate shows. Those aren't open to the public. So that's out of the picture. But uh, mm -hmm. when I announce my theater run, which is going to be once my TV show comes out. And my TV show is coming out on E, so uh -huh. it's definitely going to be after that. I don't want to go on a theater run before that because, you know, I think I can sell more tickets once my show is out and people have seen the show and then they'll want to come see the things live. So, right. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, Zainab Kamran says, has law of attraction always worked for you? I would like to think that it always has. I can't think of a moment in time where it hasn't worked. Um, and if it has not worked, I have realized in my heart that I simply do not wa really want that thing. I, I wanted a thing just for the mm. sake of wanting it and I don't really need it. You know? Right. Right. So, right. yeah. Cool. Uh, Anam Rashid, and by the way, Shahid, if you feel like you've answered the question, just say I've answered it already. Anam right. Rashid Sheikh right. is saying, from where did you learn Tikabu te telepathy? So, the Tikabu technique is my own original technique. It's not something that I have learned. I have developed it over the years. Um, because I, what I've noticed is that there are some um, basic elements of what I do out there, but there is nothing... There's no place where you can find everything that works together. So what I have done is what some something that I don't think anybody has done before is that I've taken all the techniques that actually do work with no fluff. And I have applied my own understanding and my own techniques and my own systems to this and made this into the Tikabu telepathy. And that's what you learn in the Tikabu course. So I think it's the best okay. resource to learn telepathy today in the form of an online course. Cool. Um, Murtaza Shiraz says, is mind reading uh, tr just a trick based skill or is it based mm -hmm. on telepathic power? It's definitely 100% based on telepathic powers. Um, I can't speak for if somebody is using trickery to, you know, read your mind. I don't know how that would work, how you can read a mind through trickery. But uh, mm -hmm. I definitely use the Tikaboo technique. And in fact, since we both are here, I... What? For you. I mean, like, I, I can try to. I'll, I'll try to do something for you, like, you know, once yes. we're done with this. Yes, please. Do you, okay, after this or not? Okay, fine. I'm, I'm really excited about that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can't wait. So yeah. let's quickly done with the, get done with the questions. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, wait. So this, I think you've kind of answered, but if you want to add anything, you can. Tuba MJ asks, what is Shahir's biggest mm. wish and any person whom he anxiously wants to meet in life? 
um i told you my biggest wish is you know to yes yeah get big in the world and person you blah, blah, blah. person that i want to meet is i think uh, so i answered the dead person i would like to meet i think the yeah. person who yeah alive that i would like to meet i don't know like i can't think of i can't think of a person who's alive that i would like to meet but it's fine we can just move on to the next if you can't think can't of think anyone. of anyone yeah okay cool um akshata uh, yande asked do you believe in uh, horoscopes um i believe so there's two school of thoughts on this there are people out there who say that you know star signs don't matter and uh, mm-hmm. the stars do not matter and you know they're all very you know like very generalized and you know like it's all very vague and you make your you make yourself fit to the reading of a star right. sign but yeah. then another thing is that our lives are actually governed by a star and that is the mm. sun we wake up mm. according to the sun we go to sleep according to the sun in fact that one star you know is governing all our seasons our days our years everything is being held together because of exactly. that one star so to say that yeah. stars do not matter in your life would be a lie it directly matters to mm. you in fact how yeah. it reacts to your skin how your skin adapts to it and everything yeah. is related to stars so mm-hmm. i definitely do believe in horoscope and I, i feel like they do matter and someone also asked about your star sign in one of the earlier questions i am a sagittarius okay um a slytherin sagittarius <laughs> that's awesome okay yeah. abdul haseeb uh, says that uh, he's talking about your telepathy course and he doesn't know where he can access it so maybe uh, you could inbox- put up a post on your profile huh if he inboxes me if you can just inbox me and i'll send you a link and then you can click on the link and you can access the course it's that simple perfect okay yeah. yumna anwar asked two questions hmm. she asks a um should we always go with our very first instinct hmm. and the second question is also i keep seeing 11 11 what's the significance and to add to that i will also say this i keep seeing 11 11 22 22 33 33 44 44 i've looked it up like 1000 times <laughs> angel numbers so yes. what do you think about this stuff so they are called oh. age, uh, angel numbers and they all like you know yeah. you, and you can look at you can look it up you can google it they all have their own specific mm-hmm. meanings um yeah. but what i could say is that um if you ever spot um a moment a time like that so make sure to do something special or make a wish um yeah. because then because then you're going to remember when it exactly happened when you wished for it i think that's a very cool thing yeah so yeah 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 and even other than that it just means that um you have a very um creative mind and your mind is able to pick up on these patterns because not everybody mm. um is able to figure out you know like or see or you know even like notice things because people are so busy in their lives that stuff like this a simple time on a watch becomes almost yeah. invisible yeah. you know yeah so, that's yeah. true yeah it's kind of one of those things where they say you know if you start thinking of yellow cars then you're going to see them yeah agar aapne pehle nahi socha tha to you they would not cross your mind but yeah. uh, i think what people are really the answer people are really looking for is hoping that it means that you know how they say 111 is your angels are looking out for you 222 yeah. is that you're on the right path 333 is growth pata nahi kya 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 i mean we can just yeah. hope for those things i suppose and yeah. uh, there is one right um okay and shahi she also asked should we always go with our very first instinct I believe that it is extremely helpful to go with your inner intuition and your gut feeling and mm-hmm. because there are people who there there's people who try to use their mind their experiences over their gut feeling and uh, 
that is not the most fruitful way to you know move into any situation because your gut feeling came way before than your past experiences so right. and it's yeah. there and it's it's there for a reason people ignore their sixth sense and people ignore their mm-hmm. you know they don't think anything of it because they've they've yeah. not been taught exactly. in, they've not been taught in school to learn about it you know they've we're only taught about you know the five senses not the sixth sense the parents mm-hmm. your parents are not telling you that beta apni andar ki jo feeling usko trust karo i mean if your parents are really um you know poetic perhaps they would but even in that capacity nobody's like you know like practically so to practically yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody says like practically socho you know apne dil ki baat ko hatao apne dimag ki suno so but hey mm-hmm. i'm here i'm like the ambassador of the complete opposite and i would say listen to your heart yeah. and everybody yeah. else can take a hike all right perfect i'm going to remember those words <laughs> yeah i was looking yeah. for something like that great yeah. so yeah i think those are the questions for now so one person has asked about your favorite urdu song if you want to mention that and then we can move on to the I think part. i think these days my favorite urdu song would be pasuri and everybody's listening to that oh. but yeah it's like you would jelly city fan been, i am <laughs> yeah same here i've been listening to it a lot and um, yeah, yeah abhi i recently i recently saw on a friend story that uh, Shay Gill was performing somewhere in Karachi at someone's wedding, so I got wow. excited about it. And I was like, "Wow, where is that happening?" But uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Amara yeah. has a good point. She's like, "Is it Urdu though? <laughs> it's not the Punjabi song, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, it's yeah. one of our Desi languages." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay cool yeah she gil kabhi it's really cool how she started on uh, instagram and she just her friends would upload her videos she would upload her videos and she got like the biggest break ever i mean see the coke yeah. studio ali sethi number 3 song world charts on spotify hai na that is just amazing and she yep, deserves it absolutely. she's absolutely like, absolutely 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 okay shahid so these are the questions and uh, let's Uh, yeah. you mentioned something at the beginning before we started uh okay our so, talk um, so yeah i'll tell you i'll tell you that um, i'm going to have you i'm going to try to connect with you but i'm also a bit worried okay. because my phone my my phone is on 6% right now so what i'm quickly oh no okay i'm quickly going to Char- go get a charger i am quickly going to go get a charger because i don't okay and I everybody <laughs> Yeah. I don't want to lose Yeah, go get it. Everybody stay here. Nothing's going to happen for the next 20 seconds. He's going to get his charger. So please be patient. Yeah. Thank you. You can enjoy my area. Yeah, yeah. Just show your room. We'll look check out this area 51 thing and I'm also going to go off screen for like 10 seconds for a breather. people have a lot of comments about your room <laughs> because you focused great. on the thing indian yeah great okay, okay. so excited all right so um here's what we're going to do i'm going to have you okay. focus i'm going to have you focus on something perhaps something for you, from your life and uh-huh. i want you to sit up straight like this and i want you to put your hands on your lap mhm and i want you to the video is you slowly is it okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah 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 okay yeah. and i want you to just make a visual 
of mm-hmm. this thing from your life okay so think about um whatever this is and i want you to just in your mind start making a visual and in order to connect with you in a more stronger manner i'm just going to cut off all the distractions in this very simple okay. way and you can keep your eyes um you can keep your eyes open it's fine okay and i'm just going to try to connect with you and try to see if i'm getting something Mm-hmm. Okay very interesting this is something from your past is that correct just answer with a yes or no Yes All right but Okay don't say anything don't say anything out loud Okay this is something from your past but it's like there is a place attached to this and there is yeah. a place there is a name and i see lots of people and it's almost like this this specific like there's versions of it or there's like many there's like many yes. or i i want to say like there's many parts of it but this specific one that you're thinking yeah. of from your past it does not this thing does not exist anymore like there's like it does exist now like for example but this specific moment that you're thinking of or this thing that you're thinking of it does not exist anymore but it's almost like tum ab apni zindagi mein somebody did this for you at that point in time and they gave you this experience and now it's as if whenever you feel close to someone you want to mm-hmm. give them this experience and if somebody has not had this experience that you're thinking of mm-hmm. it's like you you want to give them this experience and you want to see um what they think about it and i feel like mm-hmm. when i think about this specifically there's almost like a smell attached to it and and yeah. there's definitely there's definitely a place and uh, um and you and like i feel like your family's around you and there's some kind of like paper and there's like a cup holder and a cup and it's almost like everything is orange around you does that make sense yeah yes i would say that this is some kind of a burger Yes. <laughs> oh my god. But it's a very it's a very specific uh burger, yes? Uh-huh. It's a specific brand. It's a it's a it's a beef cheeseburger, is that correct? Pretty much. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all I'm getting. Yeah. What oh my it? god no way I was thinking of Mr Burger Okay all right I was thinking of Mr Burger which is orange and it is okay. I'll be honest I was just thinking of a generic Mr Burger burger you yeah. got it spot on because that is like beef cheese oh my god that is insane guys I got to experience this live and let me like trust me nothing was planned before nothing like this was just very random that is insane to you Thanks, I swear that's that amazing. That's I would like I wish there was like I'm sure everybody who was watching this is in awe yeah. right now cuz whoa dude and what I love is what I love is that I was just thinking of the burger itself but yeah. what you were able to capture was also the moment surrounding it and you were so yeah. right in saying that you know um when you were saying it, it existed before yeah but it yeah, doesn't yeah. exist anymore it does but not in the same way so bachpan mein jo mr burger jaate the वो वाला शायद अभी आउटलेट नहीं है बट इट डज एग्जिस्ट इन लाइक अदर ओ माय गॉड दिस इज सो कूल या ओह दिस इज जस्ट अमेजिंग वाओ द अब्दुल शाह ने तेरी बैठ के और भी चीजें पूछ रहे हो बट दैट वाज ट्रूली अमेजिंग आई एम आई एम रियली रियली इंप्रेस्ड एंड या आई आई विश यू अ लॉट ऑफ लाइक 
Thank you. Um, good wishes and success. And I Thank know you. that your show is going to do really well. I'll be Thank honest. You. I have shown your current videos to so many of my friends. Koi bhi aata hai, hum baatein kar rahe the, and I go like, you know what? Let me show you yeah. something really cool. And then I open yeah. your minded page, jo wo the, yeah. you know, the when you're yeah. reading with Seema Karan's mind. And they go, no, no, but this yeah. part. Look at this specific part. Yeah. You know, that one where you read his. Um, The, the what was it bandage ke upar koi number tha na number likha hua tha yeah yeah, yeah. yep 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 oh my god that was yeah. pehle wale mein to log phir bhi bolte hai na i don't know why my video is in clear pehle yeah. wale mein log jo hote hai na wo phir bhi bolte hai ki acha nahi nahi card dekh liya hui but when that specific one happened people yeah. were just like okay there's no way that he could have seen that even wasim akram couldn't see that yeah so that was just yep. brilliant i'm really impressed Truly, truly, and um, it's been so so much fun uh, having this Q and A with you. In Same fact, uh, when here. we had, I, yeah, I like, really wanted to. I'm, sorry, yeah. go on. <laughs> no, and I, and I'll just say that I usually keep up with your, you know, art lounge talks, and they're very interesting. And usually, I'm Thank running you. away. Usually, I'm running away from interviews, and I don't do that many, you know, like appearances or interviews like that. But when you, when you, when you, uh-huh. you were interested in yeah. doing this, I was, you know, I was really excited, and you know, it's an honor to be here and you know, be a part of this. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I think. Sorry, I don't know why my video isn't clear. I mean, yeah. since the beginning, I was hoping mm-hmm. to uh, ask you as well, and then when we had that conversation, I was like, oh, this is like the perfect moment. You know, this is when I yeah. should, I wish I, I should make this happen. But I really hope to also be able to attend. one of your live shows i'd love to see this happen live and uh, i'm yeah. always very excited about this stuff and i also have your telepathy course the only thing that i i've reached a certain stage i just don't yeah. know i don't have that you know someone who i can practice it with so i'm yeah. going to do that and then i i would love to learn the skill as well it's i've always been fascinated by it. Uh, telepathy and mind reading and all of that so congrats on everything that you've done here thank you, and Tom, thank man. you yet again thank you to everybody who joined it's been fantastic i'm going to be uploading this on my instagram and also on my youtube so please follow me there as well and um take good care shri here we're looking always looking forward to all the cool things you do all right take care bye bye okay lovely bye bye take care bye bye